our God is King of Israel. Uh, somebody heard that it is crossover into 2014, but someone has heard that it is a crossover into a better life, into a success, into prosperity, into favor, into breakthrough. What you heard is what is bringing faith in your spirit, and it is your faith that will put the result in your hands tonight. there are few of you here tonight who I also believe are here because this is not just a crossover into a new year but a crossover into a new life a crossover into a new experience a crossover into breakthrough a crossover into prosperity a crossover into a higher life if that is you shout it yeah. hallelujah Lord, I am not here just because I want to get into the new year in church. I am here because I want to ride on the wings of mercy. I want to ride on the wings of his grace into that promise that the Lord has made me. Into that thing that my heart has always indicted. That desire of my heart. That expectation that I refuse to let go of. That thing that I refuse to give up all. I am here to be carried by the Lord and thrown and brought into that greatness, into that life, into that easy life, into that blessed experience. If that is you, shout amen. amen. Hallelujah. That's why blind Bartimaeus was there. Hallelujah. He looked around and he knew and noticed that there were so many people right there because the bible said multitude multitude came out of jericho with him and he had somebody say he had yeah though he couldn't see but he had are uh, you hear what i'm saying he couldn't see but he had lord i may not be able to see everything that you have for me today but i am hearing a voice i may not be able to see the lord with my two eyes i may not be seeing any angel here i may not be seeing god the father god the son and the holy ghost visibly physically but my ears are open if god is your lord speak to me i want to hear you lord i want to hear my destiny i want to hear my future i want to hear the next level it is coming your way tonight it is coming your way tonight it is coming your way tonight shout yes, yes. he heard he heard if there is nothing else tonight lord 
May I hear you? May I hear? May I hear? When he heard, the Bible said he cried. That's why before I want you to cry tonight, I decided you hear first. I hear what I'm saying. I decided you hear first before you cry. He heard. What did he hear? He heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth. Uh, somebody heard that it is crossover into 2014, but someone has heard that it is a crossover into a better life, into a success, into prosperity, into favor, into breakthrough. What you heard is what is bringing faith in your spirit, and it is your faith that will put the result in your hands tonight. Hallelujah. So when he heard, the Bible said he cried. Now, I don't know how bad your situation has become. I don't know what it is you have struggled with. I don't know what it is that I've been staring at you all this while. You've tried everything you know to change that situation. You tried everything you know to bring a, a, a different experience into your life. But it seemed to be proving stubborn and difficult. Hear me people, it doesn't matter how bad, how terrible, how rough it's been, a change has come tonight. I said a change has come tonight. Because Jesus has come your way. A change has come tonight. Anytime Jesus arrived, change arrived. Did you hear what I said? When Jesus arrived, change arrived. So tonight, he's here. I said he's here. I said he's here. This boat of yours will not capsize. You will be taken to the other side. The colorful side. The beautiful side. The prosperous side. The lifting side. The testimony side. You are taking them now. Hallelujah. And the Bible said his situation was so bad that it took over his first name. People knew his father. His father. Nobody gives birth to a child and not name the child. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Even though there is no name to call the child, at least the father would have called the child Mr. No Name. I hear what I'm saying. I grew up when I was in primary school and I f tried finding out what was the name of our headmaster then. And I had everybody call him Mr. No Name. So I said, How comes he is Mr. No Name? When I inquired, I discovered that was a name he was given. No Name. Do you understand? So if Bartimaeus, Bartimaeus didn't have a name to call his son, he would have called him no name. Now I'm trying to suggest to you that that boy had a name. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But his situation took over his name. So is there anyone here whose poverty has taken over their name? So whereas people would have called you Angela, like your father named you, they now call you brokenness. Or they now call you poverty. Or they now call you by the sickness that you've been going through. Or by that particular burden that has been on your shoulder. Is there anyone here like that? Now if there is no one here whose condition has replaced their names, then it means you even stand a better chance than Bartimaeus. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It means your case is not as chronic as Bartimaeus' case. And if God could sort him out, I came here to let you know that Jehovah will sort you out a thousand times. Hallelujah. Make up your mind, 2013. You are about an hour to disappear. But you are not going until my change comes. I don't know who I'm talking to tonight. 
this year is not going until your change appears. Yeah. Hallelujah. If it is settled in heaven, it shall be settled in earth. Yeah. I said it shall be settled in the earth. Yeah. And if it is settled in your spirit, if it is settled in your heart, it shall be settled in your hands. Yeah. I see that money settling in your hands. Yeah. I see that marriage settling in your hands. Yeah. I see that promotion settling in your hands. If your amen is louder, go with the miracle tonight. Yeah. Hallelujah. And so he began to call. He decided to look away from his disappointments, from his failures, from all his oppositions, from all the, the pressures of life that came on him. He decided to look away from the things he could not achieve in January, February, March, up to November and December. He decided to look away from all his disappointment and failures and closed doors and, and, and near miracle experiences. He decided to look away from all of that and focus. He knew exactly what the Bible teaches and the principle to breaking forth on every side looking unto Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith and so he, he pushed aside every distraction and decided to put his eyes up and look onto the hills from whence comes my help my help comes from the Lord therefore he cried and said Jesus thou son of David have mercy on me hear me people if you lack anything don't lack revelation revelation will cause a revolution in your life that will put you on a different level from among your fellows I came to let you know tonight that you're about to be transformed you're about to be lifted you're about to cross into help shall I receive He understood the revelation that the throne of David would not lack mercy. And so he cried out, Jesus, thou son of David, I know your throne. I know where you're seated on. I know he shall not lack mercy. So don't tell me you don't have anyone available. So have mercy on me because you already have abundance of mercy but show it to me somebody touch yourself say lord you will show me mercy tonight oh come on lift your right hand say my father in 2014 you will show me mercy now say big amen as you jump on your feet yeah. keep standing it's time to cry it's time to cry if Bartimaeus' son cried and his change appeared, listen, when he cried, opposition came. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Anytime it becomes too difficult to pray, that is when you, it becomes too close to a breaking point. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Whenever it's too difficult to persevere in prayer, that is a time you must persevere because you're just at the verge of a transformation. If the devil can succeed in silencing you at that point, then he succeeds. But if you can only persevere and say, no, I will pray until my change comes, I bet you you will be among the hundreds that will share your testimony. Testimony. I bet you, you will be among the very first that will share your testimony in the first quarter of 2014. If you are the one, let me hear a loud as amen. amen. Hallelujah. So we're going to cry tonight. But as we cry, oppositions will come. The opposition of somebody looking at you. The opposition of somebody trying to push you. The opposition of somebody trying to distract you. It will come. But make up your mind. Like Bartimaeus did. I will not care 
who tries to stop me the master must talk ah the master must speak because my joy is to hear the bible say he heard it is what he had that gave him the guts that gave him the courage that gave him the the strength to cry are you hearing what i'm saying so the master must speak to you tonight concerning 2014 and how he will do it is if you cry are you ready to pray tonight from the life of Bartimaeus, like i showed you he ensured that he forgot all the past everything of the past was left in the past before he got his miracle the bible said he removed his garment this garment of blindness this garment of failure this garment of disappointment so if the devil keeps you meditating on the things you could not achieve this year it means he keeps you from the things you're supposed to achieve next year shut your mind against 2013 shut it down right now and look out reach out to god for the greatness of next year are you hearing what i'm saying did you hear me tonight are you ready to pray now thank you lord jesus i welcome every one of you into 2014 our year of the supernatural greater grace and awesome possibilities welcome to 2014 three key words on which we will fly this year three key words who can tell me what they are supernatural grace and possibilities hallelujah awesome possibilities wonderful it's only the devil that will fail this year <laughs> I'm telling you, the devil that has fought against you all this while, in 2014, you will not find his trace. Amen. Somebody didn't hear me. I said you will not find his trace. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to give you three scriptures for these three key words. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 4 verse 33. All right, let's, let's read that together on the screen to go. And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And great grace was upon them all. Hallelujah. Great power. Great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection meaning in 2014 the kind of miracles you've seen here before shall be nothing compared to what you'll be seeing from now because with great power we would declare the word of the lord in this house with great power with great signs with great wonders jehovah will be announced in king's domain Amen. are you hearing what i'm saying in 2014 miracles upon miracles shall be on this altar Amen. things that have never been heard of before you will see them happen in this church Amen. because it is a year of the supernatural hallelujah it's a year of the supernatural supernaturally this year some of you will encounter things that you never bargained for. Amen. Hallelujah. Supernaturally, you would you will see your account balance will just change automatically. Supernaturally. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says great grace. Another translation says great blessing was upon them all. Now, the result of the supernatural is that everyone who are a part of the family will be a candidate of blessings. Amen. This year, you're a candidate of blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Next scripture, Matthew chapter 19, verse 26. But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. And hear me people from this altar, I make known to you today the counsel of God concerning you and concerning this assembly. In 2014, those things which are impossible with men shall be possible with you. Those things which men do not even dream of achieving, you will achieve before you think about them. If you believe me, let your amen come out louder. Come and let your amen be louder. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Just think about the most impossible case. It shall be made possible for you this year. Amen. You see, I do not have any other way of communicating it to you. The Bible says the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. It travels. The word of God that I'm saying and declaring to you this morning is traveling into your spirit, is traveling into your soul, and is traveling ahead of you, waiting for you everywhere you go, that in this year, 2014, what is impossible with others shall be easy for you. Hallelujah. So that is exactly what the Lord has ordained me to do. As I say it, as I declare to you right now, and you're opening up your spirit and receiving it with a loud amen, you are trapping it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are receiving it. You are pocketing it. You are laying it on your path. I decree it again. What is impossible with man, this year shall be easy for you. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hmm. Our God is an awesome wonder. Are you hearing what I'm saying? An awesome wonder. There's something that the Lord just said through me right now, and he's reminding me, he's making me take note of it. I said earlier, what others don't even dare to think about doing, you will have finished doing it before you think about it. Hallelujah. The when the Lord just brought it back to me now, I said to myself, what exactly do you mean? And he said, that's exactly what you experience. Yes. Amen? Amen? So I, I just remember, it's my experience. I would just be thinking, before I think about doing something, I would just, I, I finished it already. Amen. Hallelujah. I mean, great, Im impossible things. Things that ordinarily men would have struggled and sweat to put things in place and organize structures and everything before they can think about doing it, I will see myself venture into it and finish it before thinking about it. Amen. What a mystery. Now that is a mystery that some of you will begin to function in this year. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You will function in mysteries. Oh, glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? While you're still thinking, I think I need a house. You already paid for the house. <laughs> Are you hearing me? You're still considering what kind of car should I buy? You have already paid for it. Impossible things shall be easy for you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Get ready. 2014 is a mysterious year for you. Amen. You will have achievement that even you will wonder. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm telling you the truth. When you begin to function in this kind of life, in this kind of mystery, you would know that God is a God of all possibilities. Mm -hmm. Oh, glory to God. One thing I would want to add to that, as according to the leading of the Lord, is to ensure that surprises will be part of your life this year. Yeah. This year is full of surprises. Yeah. Some of you, you would plan to do some things in March. It will be done first week of January. Yeah. 
some of you what you are planned to achieve in June you will achieve it in February unusual surprises listen the Lord says to tell you today there is unusual speed of the spirit that is upon you for 2014 you will encounter with speed that will make you achieve uncommon breakthrough let me hear your amen like thunder hallelujah so some of you who are dreaming lord i want to do this at this time i want to do this at this time well it's good to have your shadow but god has his own shadow did you hear what i said god has his own shadows oh glory to god amen mark chapter 9 we read verse 23 jesus said unto him if thou canst believe is there anyone here who cannot believe if there is anyone here who cannot believe please raise your hand so that we we know how to conduct deliverance for you now because all you need this year is to believe somebody say believe, believe. come on say one more time say believe believe all things are possible if you believe believe if thou canst believe all things somebody say all things all things, all things. you know sometimes you assimilate more when you whisper that's why the word Hagar means to meditate and to mutter and then to roar. See? So that if you don't assimilate when you roar, you will assimilate when you whisper. If you don't assimilate when you whisper, you will assimilate when you think and ponder. Amen? Amen. And so let me whisper this into your spirit, this morning all you need is believe and if you believe this year nothing shall be impossible Amen. nothing i don't know who i'm talking to today but i i dare you to believe god this year Amen. remember what i've taught you about faith one of the greatest enemy of faith is the failures of yesterday did you hear what i said the failure of yesterday. I, I prayed yesterday. I fasted yesterday. I, I got prophetic words yesterday. Hands were laid on me yesterday. And, and it, nothing resulted. Once that comes up in your spirit, it weakens your future experience. Did you hear what I said? It just dismantles it. So, forget your past. Reach out to the now and to the future. God is in the now. Faith is in the now. And I want you to know that it is now faith that will deliver the now miracle into your hands. All things are possible. Lift your hands and let's say it together. Say after me. In 2014, for John Good News, for John Good News, in Nairobi, in Kenya, in Africa, in Asia, in America, in Europe, in Australia, all things are possible. All things. Mm, thank you, Father. If I think about it, it's done. Anything that I cannot think about, that's the only thing that is not possible. If it can cross my mind and I agree with it, then it's possible. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid this year because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. The Holy Spirit is telling me something this year. Last year he told me that last year was going to be very glorious and very good. 
and it was going to be a year of divine help and victorious living. Thereafter, he told me that it is going to be a year of chaos, a year of trouble, a year of pain, a year of sorrow for those who are not in Christ. But hear what he tells me now. 2014 is a year of blessings, a year of success, a year of increase, a year of prosperity, and majorly it is a year of the supernatural greater grace and awesome possibilities for every one of us in king's domain but hear me very clearly there are those who oppose themselves there are those who are not with us in the spirit, in their heart. But they pretend to be with us. They are with us for their selfish motives. But they are not with us because God has assigned them and they want to be blessed by the Lord. Anyone who is an agent in the hands of the devil in any way, in any form, 2014 shall be their year of doom. If I be a prophet of God, mark it. Your eyes will see it. Your ears will hear it. 2014 shall be a year of pain to anyone who the devil tries to use to work against you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I want to say it again. Last year I said it will be a year of trouble for those who do not know the Lord. But I'm not generalizing this time. This time, it is going to be a year of doom. A year of total failure. A year of pain. A year of sorrow and tears for those who will try to rise against you. Mark it. I feel a strong unction of the Holy Ghost as I make this announcement. And if I be a prophet of the Lord, anyone who tries to raise a finger against you, Shekila Haya. Whether in your workplace, in your compound, even in this church, Anywhere they are. Listen. Prophetic words is different from pronouncements. I am not making pronouncements. I am prophesying. This year is going to be the year of instant judgment against enemies. Instant judgment against those who secretly do evil and pretend to be good. Are you here or not? And I warn you, if you want to be for the Lord, stand for him. If you don't, declare your stand. Did you hear what I said? Let everybody know where you stand so that we will be able to explain what is your problem. I do not want to pray for anyone who is the cause of their own problem because that prayer will not be answered did you hear what I said I don't want to deceive us by keeping quiet and ignoring what the Lord is saying to me to tell you make up your mind father this year anything that would have caused stumbling block or obstacle on my path with God is down anything that would have made me to walk in bitterness, walk in hatred, and walk against any child of God, is destroyed. I make up my mind to have the best of God. I do not want to be available when judgment is on ground. Did you hear what I said? 
the ground where judgment will find you, you shall not be there. I said you shall not be there. Thank you, Father. God says, accumulated prayers are answered. Amen. Amen. Stand to your feet, everyone. All things are possible. All things are possible. All things are possible. This year, good home is possible for you. Good health is possible for you. Good automobiles are possible for you. Good jobs are possible for you. Great opportunities are possible for you. As I am declaring it, they are opening up to you right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We are grateful, we are grateful, we are grateful. We thank you and we thank you and we thank you a million times. Because you have done it again. If you did not have anything for us in 2014, you would not have allowed us to see it. We are grateful because you, have, you hold a great plan for us. We are looking forward to harvesting every one of it. Thank you almighty God. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Welcome to Glory Realm International Ministries, also known as King's Domain. We are located at GMC House on second floor on Kimathe Street, opposite Corner House. Our weekly services are on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 5.30 p.m. Tuesdays is the Word at Work service. Thursdays, we have the Glory Zone Power Communion service, which is also a miracle service. Our Sunday services start at 8 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. At King's Domain, we are caring enough to know you and loving enough to serve you. Me and my wife had a few problems. We thought that.